Like I always say, two's better than one. <laughs> what do you want me to brand him? Pick a spot. aiming to drive that buggy across my property, were you? I asked you a question, boy. Bruto, stupido, hijo de burro. Dile a este animal que tenemos prisa. Debemos llegar a casa, se hace tarde. You got something to say, lady, say it in English. Time you folks started to... Bert. Hadley? Them. Cutting across my land. Well, now, that is funny. Last time I looked, this was Barkley land. Another 20 yards, and it's ours. It is only because we are late, senor, because we come from the railroad, and Don Alfredo will worry. That's not my problem, lady. That's yours. And Montero ain't gonna use my place for no road, just like you stole it already. Now, uh, he won't be stealing it if the court rules it's his, now, will he? Well, the court ain't ruled for him yet. And it won't make any difference if it does. Because Mel and Dave and the rest of us, we bought our land. It's ours. And it's going to stay that way. And we don't want no Spanish on it. You're welcome to cut across our land. That might save you some time. Oh, that's right, sir. This road goes right through our north pasture. You can use it if you like. Luis? Si, sí, senorita. Let's go. I would thank both you gentlemen if I knew your names. A Nick. A Van Heath. A Barkley. Thank you both. Thank you very much. We'd be glad to say you're welcome if we knew your name. Maria Montero. Don Alfredo is my father. my way? Indeed I am. <laughs> what put you in such low spirits this evening? Low sp <laughs> Well, Nick, you seem to be in a particularly good mood tonight. Is that so? Thank you. Mother, may I? 
Yes, please, a little sherry. Audra, did you finish your book? Almost, just one more chapter. Well, how nice to have you all down so early. You know, your father always believed that the family should have a few minutes of relaxation together before dinner. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. This was his favorite time of day. Mm -hmm. Keith, you should have been here. It was wonderful. I used to sit on his lap and the boys on the floor, and he'd tell us all about the old days. Things you simply couldn't believe. Well, remember how you got your first fur coat? For a dozen cabbages. Cabbages? Mm-hmm. Really? The Russians brought their boat up the river and traded furs for cabbages. Well, they were sick and needed greens, and the Spaniards wouldn't have anything to do with them. Father said that Don Alfredo was the worst, being descended from royalty and all. I, uh, never knew Don Alfredo had a daughter. Well, it seems to me I remember hearing something about an only child. Yes, Maria. He sent her back east to school when her mother died. She was only four years old. Don't you remember she... No, no, I don't suppose you would. He never brought her to town. Why do you ask? Is she back? No. Uh, well... Uh-huh. She's back. Have you met her yet? Well, I wouldn't exactly say we met her. Uh, Bert Hadley stopped her carriage, wouldn't let him cross his land. And... Oh, Bert Hadley's a fool. I'll buy that for sure. Why, is she that pretty? Well, uh... Is she really? Is she, Nick? Well, if you, if, that is if you cotton to someone that's all skin and bones. You know. Is she tall, short, dark, fair? And what kind of clothes? From the East? Oh, are they beautiful? Well, I don't know where they came from, but they look real good to me. Well, Mother, aren't you curious? Of course, but it's like a petticoat. A lady never lets it show. Was Bert Hadley nasty with the girl? He had his rough up real good. Which will upset her father, of course. Does it matter? Well, it might. If his case holds up in court, we might have to deal with him. You don't think his case can hold up, do you? I don't know. His lawyers keep hinting about some new evidence. But I'll find out about all that when I get back to San Francisco. In the meantime, I wish Hadley hadn't done anything to antagonize Don Alfredo. Why don't we pay Don Alfredo a visit just to smooth things over? Good idea. Oh, now, wait a minute. It was Hadley that got out of line, not us. Why not him? Well, it still wouldn't do any harm. I'll ride over in the morning. You may have something there. I'll tell you what. We'll uh, both ride over in the morning and get an early start. I wouldn't want to take you from your work, Nick. Oh, I can manage. Well, there's all that mesquite to burn out it's on the... better to take care of that in the afternoon. It's too windy in the morning. And like you said, two is better than one. Well, I'm glad that's settled. Shall we have dinner? Tell me, what's your... Dave, come and tell me. No question, huh? Found him this morning with them heifers. Must have jumped the fence last night. Send all the way to Ohio for them Holsteins. Read them true. Start a dairy yard. One lousy off bull from Ontario's range could set us back a whole year. Dave, go get me a rifle. Must be a burn, Nick. You go ahead.
Don Alfredo, por favor. Un momento, señor. Just plain good manners to say hello. Oh, forgive me. Hello. If I remember, your name would be Maria Montero. Ah, oh, my good young friend. Don Alfredo. It has been too long. I'm afraid you take all this legal business too seriously. Some others do too, I'm afraid. You mean yesterday? Those men? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like to apologize. For what, senor? You only helped. So why should you take this long ride for them? Well, I guess we feel kind of responsible. You see, Hadley and those men, they used to work for us. And my father sold them that section of land. But that particular section was not his. And so, of course, it's not theirs. Ah, but he sold it and they bought it in good faith. My father had a very deep feeling for that land. Your father felt very deeply about everything. Even when he was wrong. <laughs> Santa Bono. Santa Bono. Montero. Montero. Ivelia. Ivelia. Maria Lopez Santa Bono Montero Ivelia. Oh, howdy. I was just getting used to Montero. We only use Montero now. We're American. Lucky for you. Bad lucky for me. After all, it is a lot easier just to say Miss Maria Montero. Take a name like mine. Couldn't do much with that. A name like yours you wouldn't ever touch. You keep it the way it came to you. My father says the Barclays are... Uh, look, will you be coming into Stockton Saturday? Well, I mean, you being American and all, I figure you might want to cut loose a little. I cut loose? For the 4th. The 4th of July. Oh, yes, of course. Be fireworks and games and supper and dancing. Be real fun, if you can steer clear of the speech, Megan. <laughs> be fun for me, too, if you could come along. I'd like to. I really would. I'll ask my father. I am saying, senor, how many are there? This Hadley and the rest? Seven, eight, sixteen hundred acres at most, and we are talking about thousands. Those sixteen hundred acres are more important to them than the thousands we might lose. Of course, and I tell you, they will not lose them. I have no wish to hurt these men. If the court rules for me, I will make some arrangement. You still figure to win after two years, huh? My lawyer still looks for the original grant. <laughs> but I think that in any case, I cannot lose, as long as our families remain good friends. Well, now, you can just count on that. 